financial myths we've been taught in the black community. The greatest financial myth, I think, is that the harder you work, you know, that's going to lead to success. I wanted more than that. Like, I didn't want to work no nine to five. I, didn't, I wanted to be my own boss. I just wanted to like, reach different levels of this. You know what I'm saying? So with that, you learn how to make your money work for you instead of working for money. Right, that is, it's called how I'm having a passive income. Black business. Let's talk about it. I don't know what I'm gonna call this right here. I think I'm gonna call it talking with D smooth, talking with D one of those two, I don't know. But basically what I'm gonna be doing, man, just in here, just speaking on my thoughts for real, for real. Today, I think I'm gonna talk about black business, business, I don't know, supporting business, I don't know. It's gonna be one of those two. One of those two, yes sir. Hope they be gonna pop open though, you feel me? Hey, let me know. Comment down below if y'all ever had this when y'all was younger, like yo mama them, they used to give you this right here. How you think you are doing some big time stuff, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to talk business though, man. I don't know, like, as I get older, I just be, I've just been searching a lot about financial literacy and stuff like that. And I just been so much like knowledge about business and stuff, investments. Why we on the subject? I don't wonder why people drink wine. Wine, listen, wine tastes like dry water. Do, yeah, do that make sense to you? Wine, dry. I don't understand. How can that liquid be dry? I don't understand how people like that. That's disgusting. Well, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm talking about my own business right here. Okay, first, go ahead and support my girl, Jamelia Evans. You feel me? High class stepper, you feel me? I think I'm going to um, put some pictures like right there. Yeah, man, go support my girl, man. That's my home. I've been knowing her since yay high, you feel me? Yay high, like ninth grade. Speaking about supporting supporting business, you feel me? You know, everybody like they support black businesses, support small business, but... I don't know. I don't know why, but whenever um, I guess whenever you gotta spend money, they just feel like they don't got support no more. You feel what I'm saying? Like if they spending money, then it's not really. They're not spending money. It's not a real business. Like how does that work? Let's give us your time. You feel what I'm saying? This only thing I need to do is click on my video, go read my article, just look at my book. You feel me? Or just go like my picture, just share my picture. Oh, but you support small businesses. I don't get that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's what I realize. A lot of people they don't show love to your business. Like I don't know. I, like I seen this picture before that I think you get more love. Um, I think you get more love when you when you get a good um, good paying job rather than when you start your own business. People don't want to support you until you get to your next level on your business. You feel what I'm saying? Or you might get more you get more support from people you don't even know. You feel me? And that's crazy to me, but I, I understand a little bit because I'm like I'm thinking when I do my YouTube videos and stuff like that. I don't want nobody. Um, I want my homeboys or my homegirls looking at my video, my family because that's like that's cringe to me. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't really care if other people watch it. Yeah. Financial literacy, man. A lot of people don't have it. You know, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to understand the terminology, the vocabulary, some things, man. That all ties along with, with financial literacy. You feel what I'm saying? Because that all goes hands in hand with business, economics, and all that. And investment. You feel what I'm saying? Investment. Investing. You feel what I'm saying? They all go hand in hand. I've just been realizing that my whole time. Because with financial literacy, you learn how to make your money work for you instead of working for money. Because I ain't understand that a long time ago. I, I, like when I first started reading my book, I did not understand what what he meant when he said, make money work for you. You feel what I'm saying? And don't work for your money. Like you know how some, a lot of people, it all starts where you get your information from. You feel what I'm saying? Like our parents, okay, I don't know about you, I can speak for the black community. Like my like my parents and my family, or my mama, you feel what I'm saying? All they say is work hard, work hard, save your money, work hard, save your money, good, good paying job, save your money, security, security. That's all they know. Like if you think like that, if you want to be like that, just get security, you should get a union. Like, focus on a union because they'll take care of your savings and your investing and stuff like that. And me, when I was younger, I always knew that um, I wanted more than that. You feel me? Like, I didn't want to work no nine to five. I, didn't, I want to be my own boss. I just want to, like, reach different levels of this. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I realized I keep hearing successful people saying our people in the financial literacy um, around, they keep saying the same thing. Um, work, don't, don't let your money, um, what is it, what is it? It's your money work for you, don't work for it. And basically what they're saying by that is, it's called how I'm having a passive income. Like, say, like the big thing right now, Bitcoin. You invest your money in Bitcoin, and you let you keep adding money until you let your assets build up. You feel me now? 
your money's been put into like a, a stock, you feel me, or like a currency, you feel what I'm saying? And it's just growing. It's like it's getting it's getting interest. The more interest you get, the more the more capital you get. You feel what I'm saying? And that's your money working for you. You feel me? So basically, what it, what he's trying to say is you need to get build your assets up before you start buying all these big nice cars, these big old houses, all these shoes, um, like iPads, stuff like that. Just um build your assets up before you start splurging all your money and all that. Because sooner or later, your assets when it when your assets um asset profile gets big enough, it can take care of all your um like your what's it come your expenses. That's like the goal. That's financially financially free. I think that's what it says. Oh, financial. I don't know something like that. Financial freedom. You feel what I'm saying? Like where you can go such such a time without having to work, but you you know just getting money. Like I could lose my job right now or quit my job right now for like six months. I'd be straight. You feel what I'm saying? But going back to what I was saying earlier, okay. Like in the black community, a lot of people say that their parents tell them, work hard, work hard. You feel what I'm saying? But what does working hard get you? You feel what I'm saying? What does that get you? That doesn't get you no, it doesn't really get you nowhere, you feel me? But um, body aches, you know, the job, your job calling you up saying, hey, um, you got a sur you had too many surgeries already, we got to let you go. You got the age of 50, and they're like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? That job might not have a union. You got to look into that. You feel what I'm saying? So it all go hands in, it all go hand in hand, man. So um, basically what it is, is like, just get your knowledge up. You feel what I'm saying? Work hard, get your knowledge up. Keep learning, man. The more you learn, it's easier for you to fight things like, okay, it goes hand in hand, working hard, it's like a balance. You work hard, you get your knowledge up. Then you then you build your asset columns up. So now you don't have to go get that second job. You feel what I'm saying? Because your asset is just giving you enough money right there. And you got your main job right here. Still security, but you're not have to working so hard and your body's not breaking down. You know, because most people that tell you to work hard, they might have like three or four jobs. I was like, say, I'm gonna say like two to three jobs, you feel me? And they're still struggling. Where's working hard again? You feel what I'm saying? It's not, it's not really giving you too much anywhere. You feel what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's just helping for the now, and not for the later. You feel what I'm saying? So like, I'm mm, like, it's person, it's like a, a YouTube video, not YouTube, but a YouTube um page called Are Your Leaves. He was saying, in the black last question is, what are the greatest financial myths we've been taught in the black community? The greatest financial myth I think is that. The harder you work, you know, that's going to lead to success. And it's like, shout out to um, my bro, Wall Street Trap. He said something that was so profound to me. It's like, coming from working class environments, we all know people that work two jobs. It's pretty common, right? Even three jobs, sometimes overnight shifts. And you really think about it, I never met one person that worked two jobs that had more money than somebody that worked one job. Mm -hmm. I never met one person that worked two jobs that had money. They still broke. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the reason is because you're trading your time for money and that's not really how to get money. Mm -hmm. You gotta have your money work for you. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's really the greatest, greatest myth I, I think that we've been taught is like, money doesn't grow on trees, you gotta work hard, you got, but that's it. it's really crazy because it's like, nah, not really. Your money has to work hard for you because the harder you work for money, you're just gonna be, burn yourself out and you're gonna be, you're still gonna be broke at the end of the day. So like, I look at, I had a friend of mine, I'll never forget, and he was like, uh, this was like 10 years ago and he's older than me, but he was like probably 30 at the time. He was like, you know, I wish I would have been a firefighter and no disrespect. Yeah, he was basically, he said, um, black community always say work hard and save your money. So, but the people that's telling you to work hard, where they have, you feel what I'm saying? They're struggling, like they struggling paycheck to paycheck. Even though they're working as hard as they possibly can, you know, they might get like, they might um do like 12 hour shifts a day, you feel me? And, and they have another part-time job on top of that. And they're still struggling. That's not getting you nowhere. You feel what I'm saying? That's why you got to make your money work for you. So like when you at work or something, your money is, is growing because your money is your hardest worker. You feel what I'm saying on that? So um, basically, let your, build up your assets, get your knowledge up for real. Get your knowledge up. Do not just take someone else's advice. It's called a chicken little, man. Eric, like it was a bunch of chicken littles. You ever heard, you ever heard of a um, movie or the show, what's, what's called the book, The Chicken Little? By Chicken Little, man, who ran around with all the skies falling. Like if, you get a, if you surround yourself around a bunch of people that don't know, that are not really financially literate, financial literate and they don't know what they're talking about and they start giving you investment ideas then you're going to fall into that group of chicken littles man just taking advice from people who don't really put in the time to understand what they're doing then you get a, a bad investment you feel what i'm saying like say like bitcoin right now bitcoin was up it was uh, is at its highest well back then this was, it was as high as in, in january you feel what i'm saying you got the 40 like 40k and people start buying in right there but that's what it's at its premium premium it's not good to buy stuff when it's at its premium. You know, if you get your knowledge up, you understand that's the premium, so it's going to drop back down. That's really when to buy it. You want to buy it when it's at a discount. You know, but I would never knew that if I didn't get my financial literacy up, like reading my books, looking at my charts and stuff, just getting educated, man. Yeah.
But look, so right now I got in, I got in when it dropped all the way back down because I knew it was gonna retrace. You feel me? I had to, I had to put my feelings together. I had to, I had to throw my feelings out the door. You feel what I'm saying? Like my fear messing up because I saw I'm like, dang, this stuff is going up crazy. It's up, it's up to 40. It was just at 30, just like a day or two ago. You feel me? I'm just like, I need to get in, but back in my hand, but I know it's gonna drop. So you know what I did? I waited, let it get down to 30, like 32 Ks when I got in, and it shot up to 50. You feel what I'm saying? I got at a discount. That all ties together with financial literacy, man. It all ties together. Yeah, that's the end of it, man. Um, I know it's my first time doing this. It's not, it's not gonna be that good, you know. I'm just testing out, seeing what I like, just trying to develop new skills like videography and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back and do that. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna speak on some other stuff. I'm gonna try to comment down below, engage with me, tell me what your thoughts are. How can I make it better and stuff like that? Help me grow. You feel me? Help me. Help me get my skill better, man. I'm not. I'm not scared to make mistakes. That's another thing. Don't be a scared. Scared to make mistakes in life. You feel me? That's what life is about. You know, I feel like in school, they show us, okay, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna make it sound different, my fault. I feel like in school, they make us fear making mistakes. Like you get a wrong answer on the, on the test. What do they do? They mark it down, you fail, you fail your class, you feel what I'm saying? But life, that's what life is about, making mistakes, making mistakes and learning from learning from those mistakes. You feel what I'm saying? So like, let's see, let me give you a personal example. But yeah, um, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all stay blessed and highly favored, man. We got you.